Hello everyone and welcome to Win Stuff, Elon University's only game show and the longest running show. I'm your host, Hunter Riccio, and I am here with the lovely people of Elon After Hours. So we got, we got Steven here. What's going tell, on? Tell us your position. I'm a producer of Elon After Hours. Producer. Then we have Joey, who's I am also... producer and co-host occasionally. Ah. Oh. Yeah. You're back here again. I am. You're, you're kind of following me. I am. It's a hobby of mine. Oh, cool. Uh, and then we have Samantha, who is actually going to... Guest host today. Yes. I'm Perhaps also is. part of oh, Elon After Hours, if yeah. you didn't understand that. Twice so occasionally. Um, so, how this game works, so we're going to have the titles up here. Steven, you're actually going to go first because you're closest to me. You're going to awesome. pick the first one. Um, before we started, Steven said that he had the longest, or the, the largest, longest, largest score ever. I was told that. I don't know if it's true, but it's I, probably, I, did, I did pretty well last not true. He was, he was told that. He's like, he likes to brag. I was pretty good. <laughs> so, he's going to pick first. He's going to pick the title. The question's going to pop up, and one of you buzz in first. Whoever obviously buzzes in first gets to answer. And if you guys don't get it, I'll just say and we'll move on from there. Pretty much, yeah. It's good? Can you do it Sounds one good. more time, exactly what you said? No, I'm gonna okay. do, I'll do it backwards. Please. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a good So, uh, so Stephen, how about you start us off here? Uh, let's do This Is. This Is. Which host of The Voice just recently lost their mother? Blake Shelton. No. I was a total guess. Um, <laughs> Uh, Gwen Stefani? No, sir. That's not my life. Oh, Adam Levine? No. So, go ahead. Miley Cyrus? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, the answer is Carson Daly. Oh, the host. The, host. the actual yeah. host yeah. of the freaking <laughs> show, not the judges. Oh, yeah. okay. Wow. Tricky. Tricky. Watch the word. Yeah. Question. <laughs> so, Steven, you are up again. What's uh, like? Let's do small, large truths. Small, large truce, all right. Which HBO show won the Emmy for best limited series? Was it Big Little Lies? Yes, Samantha with the first point. Uh-oh, Joey's upset already. <laughs> <laughs> she looks almost the same height as you. I think yeah, I'm actually wow, yeah. a little taller. Almost as if tall, something yeah. was underneath her feet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Samantha, please pick another category. Um, sorry? Sorry, all right. <laughs> Canadian punk band Zex, or Z-E-X, made an accidental appearance on a misprint of what Beyonce album? Um, I wait till the question ends. <laughs> is that, sorry. But you can answer, lemonade? since I didn't explain the rule again. You can Lemonade, is it, is it Lemonade? It is Lemonade, Joey has taken the point. That is my fault. That so is the only no Beyonce Matt album I know the title of. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joey, your turn to pick. Oh, okay. Look, uh, peace. Peace, all right. Peace. Which NBC show won the Emmy for Outstanding Reality Competition Series? Is it American Ninja Warrior? It is not. That was an answer. Is it The Amazing Race? No. It was something that was previously mentioned. The Voice. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Joey, you're ahead with two points. Okay. Oh, I get to pick. Yeah, you do. A dark reflection. Oh, a that dark reflection. Scary. San Juniper, Perot, is the title of the episode that won the Emmy for Outstanding Television Movie for which Netflix anthology? Is it Black Mirror? Yes, it is. Oh, well, dark reflection. Might as well just give us a better... Uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy has excuses all day. All, day. <laughs> all right, Steven, you are up. All right, let's do uh, Emmy Vice. Emmy Vice. You guys love your TV. Which HBO show won the Emmy for Outstanding Comedy? Donald Glover's thing. Um, what is Donald Glover's thing? But no, it's not. Oh, um, <laughs> was it Veep? Yes, sir, it is. Oh, I knew that. Steven. Oh, that Steven with two, Joey with two, and Samantha with one. Well, I love Master of None, so let's do Master of One. All right, Master of One. <laughs> Lena Waithe was the first African-American to win an Emmy for comedy writing on which popular Netflix show? Oh, Joey! <laughs> say that. Is it Master of None? Yes, it is Master of None. I don't know how you uh, got that answer. Yeah. 
Honestly, I just a little help from your friends. Really smart. Complete out of the blue. All right, yeah. Joey. <laughs> pick another. Pick another category for us. Let's let's do there for you. There for you. That's you guys. Category. You like guys, yeah, let's pick a different category next time. <laughs> Little Wayne just parodied which '90s sitcom theme song? Friends. How did you know that? Because I'm just a great guesser. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. All right. Okay. So, oh, do I just realized how you got that. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I don't get it. Oh. No, just go on. Sorry, that was my own. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do Joanne. Joanne, Joanne. Yeah, see. Which Joanne. pop singer just canceled some of her tour dates due to trauma and chronic pain? Lady Gaga. Yes, Let's do sir. It. Joey's. I'm just ahead. like. <laughs> Joey, Good pick job. a dance for us. Rainbow. Rainbow. You have Rainbow. Rainbow. Let's do it. Sia just released a new released a new track for what children's series? Uh, <laughs> if you guys get Magic that. School Bus. No, uh, you could, could be on the right track. Magic in it, I'm bus? sure. Um, magic Treehouse. No, I don't. There's no magic in the <laughs> title. It's just it's the show. I mean, All right. So the answer yeah. to that was My Little Pony. Oh, See, wow. Yeah, just, yes, released a new track for My Little Pony. Okay. Okay, so Joey, you're up again. Let's do uh, Walk in Space. Walk in Space. Can you see? Right. What pop Hold band on. is releasing new music on Friday? One Direction. No. They're broken up. Yeah, they're broken up. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know these things. I'm just... Five Seconds of Summer? No. Random guess. It is... Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's what is walk the moon. Oh, okay. All right, Joey, so go ahead and go again. Room. You might, you, yeah. you could pick the bottom category. I don't know if you want to, but it has not been picked yet. M okay, Madre uh, <laughs> Tierra. I'm glad good. that you buzzed in for it. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mother is a psychological thriller starring Jennifer Lawrence. Name another one of her famous co-stars. Bradley Cooper. <laughs> no. For, for Mother, like for that movie? Just or the just movie, yeah. Yes, Third. Mother. Oh, I've that movie. No. Nicole Kidman. No, unfortunately. So the answers would be Javier Bardman, Ed Harris, or Michelle Pfeiffer are all no. in that movie, actually. I don't know any of those people. I don't know that. <laughs> back to... All right. Uh, so that will be the last question right now. We're going to come back to round one. Okay, cool. So please stay tuned. Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to the shelterpetproject.org and meet a few who are in a shelter near you. Harlo, oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Cerulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to the shelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. Listen to me. I am captain of the track team. And, and if I'm late, she doesn't I'm really think she's going to get out of here, does she? Be nice. She's new. Hello, is anyone there? <gasps> wow. Even from our standards, you look awful. Oh, sweetie, what happened? Me? My friend Becky got to talk to this super cute boy, and I tried to act like I wasn't jealous, but I so totally was. And then out of nowhere, this concrete barrier just popped up. Maybe it was a semi. You mean you were driving? Yeah, I mean, I know the whole eyes on the road thing, but this was a super important text. Maybe you have to know, Becky. Texting? Great. But I, it was only like five seconds, and I'm a really, really fast texter, so it wasn't even a big deal. Actually, has she texted me back yet? Wow, I get like no bars in this place. I wonder if they have Wi-Fi here. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love. Love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Hello everyone, 
and welcome back to Win Stuff here with Elon After Hours. We're in round one with Steven with two, Joey in the lead with five, and Samantha with one. So I think, Joey, you were the last one to get one right. Yes, that is So correct. let us pick another category. We're going to go with uh, Culture Clash. Culture Clash. What popular HBO show combines the old Wild West and science fiction to create a futuristic thriller? Is it Westworld? It is Westworld. You guys have now done all of the television, television, oh. television, yep. I can television. say things, yeah. So what? Doing well, okay. Welcome. So, <laughs> Steven, it's your turn to pick again. Let's do uh, Rough Times at the Circus. Rough Times at the Circus. If you have a fear of blank, you shouldn't see the newly released movie It. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clowns. I'm giving it to her. Clowns. I'm giving it to it's her. Clowns. It's Clowns. Clowns, yes. I saw it. It was terrifying. <laughs> it was I'm terrified of clowns. I'm supposed to live in the question. Asked. All right, okay. Samantha, you got the point there, so you get to pick. Um, talk fast. Talk fast. <laughs> what was the name of the Eminem single that set the world's record in 2013 for the most words used in a song? Oh, dude, come on, man. I pressed error and you finished. Rap God. Rap God, okay. yes. I'm trying to play by the rules here, and I'm getting... Wait, wait. Judges? What did I do wrong there? <laughs> he did it. He was still saying he song. Did. I, I waited to... He was no. in the <laughs> song. But I, I read the question faster than you said it, so I just... Well, me too, I and I was, I I was ready with you Rap gotta God. You got to rap like Eminem. Rap God, God was right here on the tip of my foot. That's how I rap. All right, so, Steve, it's your turn to pick again. Fake And we will we will now do right when I stop... Right when I stop. when I stop talking. Okay. Fake out. So, fake out. Which movie almost won best, best Picture at the 2017 Oscars, only for it to be immediately corrected and revealed as a mistake? Joey. La La Land. La La Land is yep. correct. All right. That. Joey, your head was six. Steven, you have four. And Samantha, things. you have two. So Joey, pick another category for us. Fresh Faces. Fresh Faces. Denzel Washington's face is now a tattoo on what Hotline Bling performer's body? Drake. Steven. Drake. Awesome, yes sir. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, <laughs> all right, Steven. Uh, Pick another one. Secret Service. Secret I Service, all right. The second movie in what new film series was almost two movies? Fantastic Beasts, the word of mine. No. So the, the clue or the title was Secret Service. Oh. Oh. Can I go again? Yeah. Kingsman. Yes, sir. Oh. Kingsman. Steven is six. Joey six. Samantha two. Okay. Wait, he just had four. Huh? He yeah, just got two points. more. <laughs> <laughs> double, double the points. Steven, go ahead. Uh, red suit. Red suit. What superhero series just lost a stunt performer while filming for its second installment? Deadpool. Deadpool is right. I knew that one. Steven up with seven one. now. Sorry. King continues. I don't think my King continues. Was, uh, All right. <laughs> Which recently released horror film is already set to get a part two? It. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Joey. Pick again. Throwback. Throwback. What hit single did Lady Gaga and Beyonce collaborate on? So what hit single did Lady Gaga and Beyonce collaborate on? Oh, well now that you say it. Yeah, I just wanted to say it again. Say it I think again. it would just re jar it since you can't read it on there. Collaborate on. I don't know. Is there any kind of... Uh, Do you have a hint or something? Um, the, the, the hint is throwback. So the answer is telephone. Uh, really? Yeah. Really? I didn't know that. Else that. Else so you guys have one category left, so okay. whoever yeah. answered, I think Joey, you yeah. answered the correct We're going to go with uh, Trek to War. Trek to War. Who was announced as the writer and director of Star Wars Episode Nine? J.J. Abrams. Yes, sir. Steven takes the lead, and you have one more question here. Uh, short Christmas list. Short Christmas list. Mariah Carey is releasing a new Christmas movie based on her hit song with what title? All I Want For Christmas Is You. Yes, sir, Joey. All right, so Steven with eight, Joey with eight, and Samantha with two. When we come back, round two is going to happen, so stay tuned.
heart doesn't heart see race. race. Love is love. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He really likes to be around people. And as soon as I start to make my breakfast, Hamilton is right there. I get out my mat and I'm doing a downward dog and he's underneath. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I mean, look at this little face. I do not love him. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You asked them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. Hello everyone and welcome back to Win Stuff. We are now on to round two with Elon After Hours. Right now, Steven has eight, Joey has eight, and Samantha has two. But for Samantha, this is a double round, all right? So you can get two points for every question answered. Are you ready? You think you can come back and beat these two? I think I can. I believe in you. All right, so how round two works, you're gonna have either a connection or a one-liner. So, do you guys have any questions on that? No. no. <laughs> okay, good. Let's do it. Great answer. All right, let's just go right into it. So, Joey, you got the last second question, right? That's correct. Awesome. If you want to pick connections or one liners, I'm going to go with one liner. Sorry. One liner. Can so, you, you have to two? say the person okay. and like the show they're from. Okay. Well, that's two. <laughs> that's the double points. Yeah. Uh, hey, bro, I've been meaning to ask you can we get some Red Bull for these things? Sometimes a guy's got to ride the bull. Am I right? Later, skater. Is it a, uh, uh oh, I forget the name. Never mind. You no can, idea. if you say what show it's from, that's one point as well. I'm thinking of a movie, so I'm extra wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the hint. Does right. anyone know or can guess? So. I'm just reading the, oh. sorry. <laughs> reading it. This is Creed Bratton in The Office. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want <laughs> okay. The Office. Well, that doesn't help you guys then. <laughs> So, Joey, if you want to pick again, either connections or one-liner. Let's go ahead and try for a connection. Connection, all right. Megan Boone and James Spader. All right, so that answer is the blacklist. Oh. Oh. Can't tell you. <laughs> this round is going way better than last one. <laughs> Okay, so, shall we pick again for uh, us? Let's try another one-liner. All right, one-liner. I have a definite opinion on this. I don't care. I don't know, maybe Dwight from The Office? No, unfortunately. <laughs> um, if you guys get this, I will be honestly pretty surprised. This is a pretty generic okay, uh, yeah, sentence. I have a definite opinion on this. I don't care. Curly, like curly red hair and sunglasses. So that is Stephen Hyde, That 70s Show. Yeah. All right, Joey, pick again for us. Well, the connection. One -liners are hard. Connection, all right. Samuel L. Jackson and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Ooh. Wait. Did you get it? Did you think you can get it? All right. Whoa. Oh. No. Nope. Are you gonna? Are you gonna uh, get it? No. Hint. Maybe. Yes. No. No. <laughs> he has no idea. It is the other guys. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Seen that. All right, Joey. Aim for the bushes. You're turn again. <laughs> Which one would you want? Uh, one liner. <laughs> one liner. <laughs> Who in the halibut trips underwater? What? Who in the halibut wrote these? <laughs> <laughs> Who in the halibut trips underwater? Just it's guess. from a TV no. show. It is from a movie or a TV, a movie show. Or TV show. So or this TV one show. is oh, Joey, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Think of think of another show with fish. Finding Nemo. No, <laughs> that's, that's, there's one more with fish. Show, with fish. show or a movie? It's a movie. Sorry. It's a movie. Uh, 
Shark Tale. Shark Tale is you, correct. Oh, Shark Tale? Oh, and it is who, that. It is who, that. Who, who said that? Who? Uh, Oscar. Yes, sir. How, I right, saw the movie two once. points for Steven. It's kind of a joke that I said that, but I was right. Okay. Steven, pick again. Either uh, one line or connection. Connection. All right, connection. Amanda Seyfried, Seyfried, and Seth MacFarlane. I always forget how to pronounce her last name. Is it A Million Ways to Die in the West? Yes, sir. What? All right, that's another two points for Steven. I obviously don't watch enough movies. <laughs> All right, uh, Steven, let's do a connection. Anyways. Connection? Connection, yep. Yeah. All right. Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling. Uh, La La Land or um, Great Stupid Love. Well, it's La La Land. There's one yeah. more, I think. Maybe you should get four points for that. I'll take it. All right, Joey, please do either connection or one-liner. One-liner. One-liner, all right. Well, damn, Jackie, I can't control the weather. Um, it's That 70 Show, and, and it is Ashton Kutcher, who is... Uh, doesn't count. His name is... I forget. You, do, you, do you know the name? I don't, but you, right. you still get the yeah. points because you got Aston Kutcher okay. even instead of Michael Kelso. Right. Oh, yeah. So that's seven to show. All right, Steven, your turn again. Connection. Connection. Selma Blair and David Schwimmer. Is it um, the O.J. Simpson thing? It is the O.J. Simpson the, thing. Can you say more? <laughs> it's uh, American Crime Story. Yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Don't give up. Steven has 16, Joey has 10, and Samantha has two. I believe in you, Samantha. I really do. Samantha. I really, really do. Okay, Steven, pick for us another category. Connection. Connection. Reese Witherspoon and Luke Wilson. Legally, legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. Yeah, yeah, I, oh, yeah, it's, I it's, yeah you're okay. good. It's but one and two, oh, but okay. like, I, like I didn't know there was a second one either. Yeah. I'd give her the one she I thought there, there was just one. one. Did you know there was two? You, you knew there was two? Yeah. We can give Samantha a point, point as well. <laughs> Steven a point. All right. Thank you. So, uh, Steven. Another connection. Connection, okay. Timon and Pumbaa. Lion King. <laughs> really? All right, Joey got that. So, we're going to do a one-liner connection, Joey. Let's try another connection. Let's try another connection, all right. Chris Pratt and Bradley Cooper. The Hangover. No. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes, sir. Oh. You wouldn't know it's Bradley Cooper because he plays a little furry raccoon. Plays a raccoon. Oh, really? Yeah. Called yeah. A raccoon. I never knew that. Yes. That so now weird. we are out of the connections and you have one-liners left. Let's do it. Let's do it. One-liners. Well, it's going to be a legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Barney Stinson, How I Met Your Mother. Yes, yes. Perfect. What? All right. What is these shows? So, Good show. Another quote. One-liner. One-liner, I mean. I, mean no. I am not throwing away my shot. I kind of gave you a hint there. <laughs> Joey, did you, did you know it? Uh, yes, I do. I'm not throwing away my shot is from, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, oh, so anyone else? It's, I am not throwing away my shot. So this yeah. is, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that just made me feel even more awkward. <laughs> Thanks guys. Um, Alexander Hamilton and the new musical Hamilton. Okay. Oh. Yeah, sorry. It's <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna <laughs> leave now. Um, okay. So, quote one-liner. Dang it, I can't find my driving moccasins anywhere. Pocahontas. No. She's driving, yeah. There's a lot of cars back in Pocahontas' time, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I get the moccasins part though, yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, anyone else can get this? Driving moccasins. Finding Nemo. No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha, you got, a, you got a guess? Nope. No? All right, so this is Smith in New Girl. Oh, oh God. God. So we're going to go through the one-liner again. Last question. To infinity and beyond. Toy Story. Joey. Who said it? Buzz Lightyear. Yes, sir. All right. I knew that one. So Steven has 21 points as the winner. Joey has 14 and Samantha has three. When we come back, it will just be Steven for us playing our final round. Thank you so much.
Hey, look, it's those guys. Are you good to try? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Welcome back to Win Stuff for our final round with Steven. Yeah, with 21 points is a pretty big score. I have, I have not seen that yet. It's oh. only been three episodes, but I have not <laughs> seen 21. So the way the final round works is you're going to have two different sections of questions, and it's going to be like a speed round. I'm going to say it, and for the first one, you're going to say if it's either NBC or CBS. All right. All right. Are you cool. ready? I'm ready. Let's so, do it. We're going to go pretty fast, and I'm going to mark it so that I remember. NBC and the point NBC. of this is to get 15 out of 20 if you can. Okay. You think you can? I think I can. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. The Blacklist. NBC. Correct. The Big Bang Theory. CBS. Correct. This Is Us. NBC. Correct. Chicago Fire. CBS. N incorrect. Criminal Minds. CBS. CBS, correct. The Voice. NBC. Correct. Elementary. CBS. Correct. The Blind Spot. NBC. Correct. America's Got Talent. CBS. No, no unfortunately. Okay. And Madam Secretary. CBS. CBS. Correct. All right, that's a good start with eight points. You ready for the second round? Yes. It's going to be Pokemon. Yes or no. We had an excitement, a uh, little excitement in the audience here. He'd be better, he'd be better than me. Maybe yeah. I'll my phone a friend or something. But. All right. So Pokemon, are you ready? Yes or no? I'm ready. I, I'm ready too. This is going to be fun. Mew. Yes. You're correct. Lilymon. No. Correct. Psyduck. No. Incorrect. Agumon. No. Correct. Squirrel. Yes. That was kind of a giveaway. Yep. Uh, chin Pokemon. No. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I wish. <laughs> Salamander. No. Correct. Charizard. Yes. Correct. Sea Pig. No. Correct. Tauros. No. Incorrect. But you got eight and eight, which makes 16, which right. means you got 16 out of 20. Congratulations. You Thank you. If we can it. have Joey and Samantha back on here. So yeah. this is win stuff, obviously. So you all get complimentary oh, no Oak House Are you serious? gift oh, cards. Yeah. This is insane. Amazing. Thank you so much. Are, yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank Thanks for you. having us. It's really nice to meet you guys. I don't, I don't really know yeah. much about you. So can you, could you explain Elon After Hours to me? Sure. Yeah. You haven't heard? Have you heard of it? Um, yeah. not, not really. Not really. No. Well, uh, well, we're seniors now, and oh, that's cool. I am too. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Cool. New, uh, you know. Uh, anyway, our freshman year. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, freshman year. Yes. We came up with the idea of starting a talk show here at Elon, so we pitched it and made a, uh, you know, a pilot episode, and they they liked it, so we started it then, and now it's been four years, and now we have a, a new recruit on board who's going to be hosting tonight. We kind of just, you know, set up like Jimmy Fallon or your regular cool. late night talk show. We just try to yeah. have fun. You should tune in and watch. I, I will. Yeah, yeah that sounds really cool. interesting. I'm sending the link. So yeah, please send me the link. I would love to. <laughs> and again, thank you guys so much for joining us today, no Stephen. Problem. Good job. Thank you. And um, tune in next week for our new episode. Thank you very much.